While Apple formally challenged the EU's tax demands, you might have missed crazy stuff Brits do, how to grow food with just seawater, and drones looking more and more like nature intended. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where Mother Nature is somewhere saying, duh, idiots. Now that the real thing has inspired an EPFL drone that flies a lot like a bird. While scientists freeze forests with giant ice cannons to try to study environments, others are hacking the existing earth in ways we had not thought possible. Our evidence? This tomato farm. It's called Sundrop Farms and it's set up in South Australia to grow 15,000 tons of the good red stuff, actually fruit. They've just opened the first facility of its kind and are set to provide 15% of all of Australia's tomatoes in the coming year. It's notable because the crop is grown without soil, pesticides, or groundwater. Yeah, girl, it's just seawater and sunlight. First, salt water is brought in from a nearby inlet, then the water is desalinated, which is powered by all these mirrors capturing the sun. They point that energy at the receiver at the top of this tower, and if you ignore the eye of Sauron obviousness here, which is hard to do, it then takes all that power and uses it to heat and cool the facility. Sundrop Farms plans on expanding in the U.S., so send this to all of your environmentally minded friends. And finally, in not as delicious foods, I give you the humble meat pie. Brits are so obsessed with this cuisine that they've just launched one into the stratosphere, complete with a camera and tracking equipment. They want to see how the molecular structure of the pie changes, and they expect that it'll freeze, then cook again on re-entry. If someone eats it after all that, I would hazard a guess that it tastes exactly the same.